project is the bass tracker. I don't like fishing, but my son does. Um, so, but we're gonna mix his love for uh, fishing with my love to build stuff. So we picked up a 96 bass tracker um, and it had a 40 horse mercury on it. Solid little motor. Uh, it was the original motor, original trailer, original motor, original trolling motor. I mean, it was just all original and um, but as with everything, I can never leave anything alone. So uh, while freshening up that engine, um, we came across a great deal on Facebook Marketplace. I know all you guys are losing money on Marketplace. So we're going Suzuki. Um, she is a DF50A. So uh, give me a second here. We're gonna pop out old Forky and we're gonna get this thing off the Nom Nom. I'm like a kid in a candy store. All right, are you ready? Straight up with it. Oh my god! We're gonna. I got it. We'll set it over here for now. Oh my god! We got all kinds of goodness. Let's see, brand new. There you go. I'm sure there's something good in here. Nope. Protection. There you go. We'll uh, let's see what's in here. Some goodness. Some goodies. We might get some goodies. I don't know what comes with these, honestly. I mean, I'm, uh, I've rigged plenty of motors, but I've never. Uh, Mason, I want you to read this. Uh, it'll be, you'll have a test tomorrow on that. <laughs> uh, fresh primer. Looks like uh, new bolts for the transom. That's good. Steering shaft. Cool. Oh yeah, all your cables to go through your grommet. Hold on your shifter cables. And that's for your prop. There you go. And then from what I've seen, I think it's the little toolkit. Oh, full start. If I ever have to use this on this motor, that'll be a bad day. I'm sure it'll fire right off. And then there's just good old tools, man. So yeah, we're uh, we're gonna get this bad boy unloaded and uh, clean up this transom. just to unbolt the bracket from this nice Suzuki mount and uh, yeah and we're gonna hang it on it's gonna bolt it on real quick today nothing serious I started doing it I started pushing on the project and I forgot to make an update so uh, all right so we got the transom uh, Last time we were gonna hang it, I cleaned the transom. I didn't hit it hard, uh, just a aluminum cleaner and then a light polish and um, we haven't done any more. I'll, I'll hit the, the boat up later. We're trying to make it, today is uh, Monday, trying to make it to the water this weekend. All right, so um, this is a two inch shop back hose. Um, these are 12 foot cables on this 17 foot boat. All right, so 12 foot cables and I, the rigging, I'm sorry, the controls are supposed to come in from a uh, dealership tomorrow. Um, so hopefully I got the cables in where I think about the right link. So uh, anyway, did the loop there according to uh, Sea Stars. That's where they said they like the loop. Um, so the fuel line is actually perfect. It drops right into the uh, back of the transom there. And then let's see here. Um, I went ahead and sliced it to pick up the, I'll, I'll change it out to a black zip tie. That just drives me crazy. That'll be for the fuel vent. Um, so, but that's it, man. No more wires. I like that. Really clean. Not trying to see anything. Down inside the air bilge area today is where I spent a ton of time. All right, this was just pressure wash, clean, clean the tank. Uh, I did add a, uh, a fuel filter water separator. Got that from another boat project. Uh, added a ground bus bar. And I added a uh, C or C choice, whatever they are, Perco um, on off switch. Uh, 
I like those. I want to be able to disconnect. And I added the uh, primer bulb right there. Um, you know, it's in the vertical position, which people say is good. I didn't want to put it up top there. I just kind of wanted to keep it a little bit different. Uh, the trolling battery will go right there. Um, but yeah, man, coming together pretty daggum clean. So it was just a mess inside there. But for a 96, whoo, she's tightening up. Um, loving the Suzuki so far. Haven't done anything. I don't even think I got the battery on right now. No, no, this battery's off. So um, moving forward, uh, got it broken down to there is the uh, boat harness coming in. And that is the Suzuki harness. A lot of extra cable, but we can hide that uh, on the side. Um, got the spot for the Suzuki tack and I ordered a GPS speedometer still gonna keep the original uh, volt and fuel they will work fine they worked fine before that's where the Suzuki starter is gonna go and I'll see all the toggle switches I took the this will be another project in the future and that'll be another project in the future um, what I wanted to say was this is the harness I took off everything that was related to the mercury friend of mine ended up buying the mercury and um i gave him like literally everything he would need to be a drop in so all right uh suzuki df50a on a 96 bass tracker this uh we're gonna call this round one for this girl um because my love affair is jet skis this is gonna get a lot of hydro turf not the camo stuff people do uh, i'll absolutely be hydro turfing this thing uh, here in the future so it'll be round two though first got to get it on the water all right uh, more to come hopefully i'll uh, have a follow-up video when the side control comes in get the console in and uh hopefully be water testing saturday let's go all right mailman ran fedex all that just want to make a quick video of what came in um so i already had the boat harness the, let me say the suzuki main harness uh today the uh start came in along with the uh, controller, which is actually over there. I was just uh, trying to see about setting that up. And then uh, the GPS from Amazon came in and just using a power wire and ground, uh, turn the key on, you get all your warning lights from the thing. You get your uh, mile per hour sweep, it's pretty nice. And then um, yeah, the buzzer, that was the, uh, the buzzer right there, your alarm buzzer going off, so. Stupid nice. It's going to be a, a dead reliable rig. I uh, like the controller, man. It's uh, the weight of it. I mean, it's actually got some some heft to it. So uh, replacing the Quicksilver one that was in here, this is that's going to be exceptional. So just put some oil in it. Um, yeah, I got the uh, side off for uh, make sure I get that final rigging right for the throttle and directional wire or cables. And um, yeah, so... Today, though, we got to cut grass. So all the goodies, mm, husband duties call. But, uh, oh, I also tried this. I went a little Chinese. I had these old JBL speakers, so we're going to toss these in here. But uh, I'm going to give this thing a go, man. This is a, uh, this is a Bluetooth amp, all right? So it does not need a head unit. So you can Bluetooth directly to it. Um, we usually just use our phones anyways when we have any stereo turned on. So I'm going to try it. It'll be... Uh, uh once the boat turns on once you turn on the main switch this will power up still deciding how i want to if i want to steal power from the trolling motor i don't know if i want to steal it from the main battery in case we're on the sandbar i don't want to be eating up battery power with that so um might get a little um charger like a sun charger something but uh all right lots of uh, my favorite no joke i love wiring uh and this is really not even wiring this is all plug and play these uh, aftermarket companies, man, they make it so nice to install these. It's literally just everything. That's trim. Uh, this is your uh, PTT. Um, oh, no, that's PTT. That's your neutral safety switch. That's inside the controller. Comes up. Everything connects. Look at that. Just, you can't make it any easier. Match your colors. Very nice. All right. More to come. All right, T. Got that final rigging done. She's looking good. All the batteries strapped down. She's so pretty. Really excited. We water test tomorrow and everyone gets excited about, you know, they get that 
fine oregano. They even put the Suzuki tools up in there. But I'm gonna tell you what makes me the most excited. Turn the key, you know, everything comes on. And when you grab right here, that one, you get this one time. That's it. And that's it. Now she's water ready. Water test tomorrow. Let's flip and go, baby. All right. We put an hour on it last night. We're about to do another hour or so. We're going to take it slow. We can take it out fishing for a bit. There's the river out there. You can see the low and very lovely. The Suzuki is amazing. So that's it. That's the end of the project. Just a little quick build, man. Awesome, awesome. We are done. Uh, can't take it past 3,000 RPM for the first uh, for the first couple hours, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go just slow troll and fish. So there you go. Volt's good. Everything's working. The speedometer GPS now. Another finished project. Y'all take it easy.